everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now, I recently had a subscriber ask me if intermittent fasting will slow down their metabolism. And it's a good question since intermittent fasting is a popular topic these days. Again. Now, I say again because like any fad diet, it shows up every decade or so. Then it disappears. Then it reappears over and over again. It's just like most people's weight loss attempts. They keep losing the same weight over and over again. Personally, I think intermittent fasting, just like even a ketogenic diet, has lots of health benefits if it's done correctly. Unfortunately, most people do it all wrong. Yes, they get the benefits at the beginning, initially, but all diets work in the beginning. That's easy. The hard part is to continue the long-term fat loss. And the key word here is fat loss, not weight loss, which is typically just valuable muscle and water. This is because your body adapts. Fat loss slows down, stops, and then even reverses. Now, some will say, hey, I'm still losing weight, which is true, but now they're losing a lot more valuable muscle instead of fat. This is how your body survives. Its only goal is to adapt and survive. And in the process, your metabolism slows down in order for you to survive and not keep losing weight forever, week after week, month after month. Now, there are two popular types of intermittent fasting. The weekly five and two, which is basically eating normally for five days, like the weekdays, and then fasting for two days, like the weekend. Then there's the daily 16 and eight, which is basically fasting for 16 hours and then eating for eight. And people do lose fat and weight because of this. And the primary reason usually ends up being that the fact that they are simply eating less calories, which is great. Yes, intermittent fasting also has beneficial hormonal changes, such as higher growth hormone, testosterone, lower insulin levels, and so forth. Initially, at the beginning. But all this stops working after a few weeks and months. However, the improved insulin sensitivity does continue. And I know this because after 30 years, I've seen hundreds of blood tests with all sorts of various diets, not just after a few weeks, but long term, such as six months and 12 months and two years later, when the real problems start to show up, when people's metabolisms and hormones and thyroid and so forth have really shut down, when they, they're barely eating anything and they still can't lose any weight. Simply stated, any diet that restricts calories too much, too fast, and for too long will slow down your metabolism. I know of a few experts and doctors who just eat, for example, one meal a day. They're basically fasting for like 22 hours, and they brag about how much weight they've lost, but they're barely eating like 600 to even 1,000 calories. Trust me, their metabolisms have shut down along with their hormones, and it shows since they look like skinny fat with almost no muscle. If you want to do intermittent fasting and still optimize your hormones, I suggest you cycle it. And the way you cycle it is, for example, maybe every 6 to 12 weeks, take 3 to 7 days off and then eat normally. And in fact, increase your calories by 10 to 20%. This will jumpstart your hormones and basically reboot your system. Now, if you feel the fat loss has stopped, for maybe a couple of weeks, things have slowed down. That's a clue to stop, all right? Refeed with extra calories and then start again with the diet. Now, for some people, this has this happens faster, like maybe in six weeks. And for others, it can take 12 weeks. That's why I gave that six to 12 weeks ratio. Remember, it's all about your hormones. Your body will adapt by turning off your fat burning hormones over time. It will sense mild starvation and it will do its best to preserve fat and start burning more muscle and it'll do so just slowly and gradually and it will for sure increase cortisol levels and other stress hormones which trust me trumps all other hormones it's stronger than growth hormone testosterone insulin igf and so forth it can just catabolize muscle faster than anything else so there you have it cycle this and any diet now, below this video in the description area, I also have a video entitled The Real Secret to Long-Term Fat Loss and Why 93% of Diet and Exercise Programs Fail. Just scroll down, click the link, watch the video, use the proven formula, and increase your metabolism and speed up your fat-burning results. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.